In this short video, we will go over the various ways competitors can earn cues in USCSS and which titles they apply toward. Let's get started. In USCSS, competitors will earn cues for every class they successfully complete. This means every time a competitor enters a trial, they have an opportunity to earn a cue in each class they enter. There are two trial options offered through USCSS, classic trials and variable trials. A classic trial is designed after traditional set work trials where a competitor must pass all the elements interior, exterior, vehicle, and container in a single day to earn their classic title. A classic title is denoted by a C in the name, such as Detection Dog Classic Novice Title or DDCN. At USCSS, we want to give credit to those teams who pass all the required classes in a given day as this is an impressive accomplishment. However, USCSS offers a twist when it comes to classic trials. If a competitor misses one element, while they will not earn their classic title, they will still walk away with three cues. How great is that? No longer will teams walk away empty-handed. The cues earned in this fashion will go toward an element title and a variable trial title. Let's go through the requirements for earning both an element title and a variable trial title. In order to earn your element title, a competitor must earn three cues in that particular element. For instance, to earn the Novice Interior element title, a competitor must earn three cues in the Novice Interior classes. The same would go for all of the other elements, including exteriors, vehicles, and containers. In order to earn a variable trial title, a competitor will have to earn three cues in all of the elements in order to earn their variable trial title at that given level. For instance, to earn a novice variable trial title or a detection dog novice title, they would have to earn three cues in novice interior, novice exterior, novice vehicle, and novice container. Variable trials offer both the trial host and the competitors the greatest amount of flexibility and freedom. These trials may consist of an endless combination of the four element classes and five skill-specific games offered through USCSS. Trial hosts may choose to host any combination of these classes and games, and competitors may choose to enter in as many or as few classes and games as they wish. In USCSS, competitors are also free to remain in a level of competition for as long as they wish, and are also given the freedom to go back down to a previous level if they so desire. This flexibility is especially helpful for senior dogs. Competitors who choose to go this route will continue to earn titles, but will no longer be eligible for placements at that given level. The flexibility of allowing competitors to stay in any given level for as long as they wish means that competitors will never grow out of USCSS and they may continue to compete for as long as they and their dog desire. In USCSS, there are many avenues for competitors to earn a variety of titles and to continue to play the great game of scent work with their dogs. We hope you found this video helpful. Happy sniffing and we look forward to seeing you at the next USCSS trial soon.